Hi there, so today I'm going to be doing a little review of two new lip products I got and they are by NYX and they're the liquid lipsticks lingerie, yeah NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks. Basically this is a, it's not a new collection by any means but um, in the UK NYX has only just become available online um, on the Boots website and they have recently uh, released the lingerie line. If you're like me and you watch a lot of YouTube videos, um, you're probably familiar already with this range of um, liquid lipsticks. I'm so attracted to this range just because it's basically made up of nudes with like hints of colour, if that makes sense. I got two different shades. I got Corset and this one is the one that I'm wearing now. And it's kind of like a nude kind of it's almost like a beigey grey shade. I don't know. And I know that this does look incredibly different on different skin tones, but because I'm quite fair skinned, it just comes off as being like a I'd say like a, a beigey kind of nude. I also have embellishment and this one is such a unique shade. I will um apply this one after I've just given you my review so that you can see how this one looks on my lips. I really like this. I've got nothing like it in my collection. You'll see when I apply it. It's pretty kind of out there. I don't think I'm going to get as much wear out of this one as I will from Corset. Um, just because it's a bit more in your face. But anyway, I'll go on to that one later. Um, but my favourite shade out of the two is definitely Corset. Now, I'm just going to tell you my review and after having worn them both for... Um, two or three days what I think of them. I think there's about 15 different shades in this collection and from watching other people's swatch videos and reviews it's quite clear that the quality will largely depend on the shade. The shade can kind of dictate the quality and not all of the shades are made the same for pigmentations. Some of them are more patchy than others, some are more opaque, if you get what I mean. Um, I found that this was also the case with the NYX Intense Butter Glosses. There, were, um, there was a shade that was super like, just awful, wouldn't touch with a barge pole. And then there were shades like uh, Tre Leches, which was just absolutely beautiful and it's one of my favorite lip products. So I think with me only having two of these, um, please, you know, don't take what I say for the entire collection. But as I said earlier, I have worn these over like two or three days, um, just to test them out. Just, just notice, corset kind of compliments my nail varnish. I'm liking that. But I will say, and this is something that I noticed in a lot of the videos that I've watched, they do have a tendency to make your lips look quite dry because they do definitely emphasize, particularly the lighter one, corset. It does emphasize the lines in your lips. Can you see what I mean? So I think kind of if you're looking close up, your lips do have that like kind of dry look to them. Um, but obviously these two are matte lip products. So I mean, kind of that's going to happen anyway. In terms of how they feel on my lips, I would uh, definitely say that they're not as drying as I expected. And that's not to say they're not drying because they do feel dry on your lips. They are going to be more drying than a regular lipstick, obviously more drying than the lip gloss. So I think it kind of comes with the territory of a liquid matte lipstick. You are going to have some level of dryness. And I know that some people uh, don't like to have any kind of kind of heavy, dry, mask-like feeling on their lips and other people just don't mind it and they just want to have fabulous looking lips. So I'm kind of in the middle of that. I find that with these two products, when I first apply them, they're not really that dry. As the day kind of goes on, they can get more drying. I found that if you don't eat or drink anything, they will literally just stay all day. However, as soon as you eat or drink anything, they will start to come away on the inner, you know, the inner of your lip and then you end up with like those weird kind of amoks. Anyway, you know, you know what I mean. Anyway, so um, they are long wearing, but just don't eat or drink anything. If you eat or drink anything, be prepared that you will have to reapply. So if you are going to be wearing these products, um, definitely make sure you put them in your bag with you because I made the mistake the other day of wearing corset. I applied it in the morning, it was there, it was just stuck there, it didn't look like it was going anywhere. We went out, I had something to eat and all of a sudden it's kind of fading outwards and I'm like, oh, 
oh no seriously they do reapply really well so like if they do start to fade you can just go over them um but they will then be a lot more drying i find just because you're layering them up the shade range is absolutely beautiful it's 99 each which is fabulous and as i say they're available now on the boots website you can get all of the colors there and i definitely am going to be trying out a couple more of the shades these were just the two that really appealed to me i was speaking to the girl in boots and she told me that they are going to be getting nicks in store in the trafford center uh, the big boots in the trafford center in manchester in may okay, so uh, that's all for my review really i really do like these lip products i just think that if you are going to be wearing them be prepared that they are going to feel fairly dry on your lips. Not like awfully dry, but there's going to be some level of dryness there. And it just depends, you know, how much dryness you can deal with, I suppose. Do wear well if you don't eat or drink anything. They wear perfectly. But then, as I say, you can reapply them. But then probably be prepared that they're going to be even drier. So yes, uh, but overall, I absolutely love them. Corset is definitely my favourite. Definitely going to be getting the most wear out of this one. I just really like it. I just think, I just love it. I'm loving it. I've been searching for this kind of shade for absolutely ages. It's what I think that, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't know for sure, but this to me looks like how I think Stone by MAC would look. Am I wrong? I don't know. Someone tell me. But anyway, I'm now going to show you what um, embellishment looks like, so yes, I will be back soon. <laughs> okay, and this is what embellishment looks like. As you can see, it is a extremely unique shade. It's not as kind of wearable, kind of everyday, I would say, as corset, but I really, really like it. Sorry, I don't think my application was too good there. Um, but as you can see, it's kind of like, I don't know, it seems to look different every time I apply it. So it's kind of like grey with purple in it and loving it loving it i now feel that nyx are just the best producer of any kind of lip products because i love everything they've done the butter glosses most of the intense butter glosses that i've tried um some of them as i did say a bit hit on me i love the lip balm i love the lingerie even though i've only got two I love them. You know when you love something. But I am going to definitely go and buy a few more. Um, as I say, $6.99. I definitely think they're worth it. Also, just to mention, these are my first ever liquid lipsticks. So um, I've never tried any before. And I just find that these are super easy to apply. Really, really impressed with them. I find that on the one hand, they're kind of low maintenance because you can apply them once and that's it. They're there. But then on the other hand, they're high maintenance because... You can't really eat or drink anything because then you have to reapply again. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? I don't know, but probably not. Thank you as always for watching. I really appreciate um, you watching. Oh, by the way, didn't mention this shade does make my teeth look a bit yellow. So that's a little bit disappointing. But uh, hey, we can deal with it. I'll just keep my mouth closed like all day. Just to stay like this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments section. And I'll be back soon. Thanks, bye.